today is a very, very, absolutely spectacular, special day. And I'm proud to announce my new center pin reel. In this new print pouch lies the most wonderful, spectacular, most precision reel I have ever laid my hands on. And it's always a sin every time I put my hands on this pretty, pretty beautiful reel. Before we start, let me explain how I got into center pinning. It was because of Mark and the Ontario Anglers. And here I am, one of the newest members of the squad, and I couldn't be more proud to be a part of a, a team and a brotherhood that is so passionate about this style of fishing and has taught me all the secrets of what it takes to connect and to hook up to a steelhead. And getting into this game, this is I think it's only been two years for me already. I'm in my second year. But first getting into this game, just like everyone else, I had all the questions in the world. Where do I start? What kind of center pin do I buy? How much should I pay? What kind of rod do I use? What kind of line? What kind of weights? What kind of hooks, bait? What size should I make my spawn sacks? What should the presentation be? How big or small should the beads be? Needless to say, I started off just like everyone else. I started off with an Amazon center pin, which cost at around maybe $70 at that time. Now they're about $100. Then I thought, you know what? Maybe let's try the vintage center pin route. I feel like that would be a pretty cool hit too. So then I went the vintage center pin route and I ordered some center pins off of eBay. The Reynolds Stanton Reel, which is a very OG reel. A few OG center pin and there's no that was one of the nicest porter reels at the time. Fast forward to now, over the, the very amount of trips that I've used and abused these reels, my five inch sensor pin reel to be specific by Stan Reynolds, it, you know, it falls apart. 20 years later, you know, the screws get loose, the wheels get wobbly, they don't spin the same. You know, you gotta upgrade the bearings. So then I thought to myself, what better thing should I do is to invest into this long everlasting passion and what I have here today in this real pouch is the most wonderful center pin reel I've ever laid my eyes on. All custom made. I put an order in from the first week before opener which would be the first week of April this year and finally Dave and Mr. John Milner from British Columbia and hand built a precision reel for me with a custom color and beautiful ivory knobs. Without further ado, let's get to it. Here she is, the one, the only, spectacular John Milner reel, custom and precision built by Mr. John and Dave Milner. If you guys are watching this, I greatly appreciate the gratitude and the passion and the amount of hours that have been put into this reel. Hand cording and crafting, iodizing it, making sure that it reaches the correct color. Let's open it up. You guys see this? Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. First glance when I first opened this reel was like, how could something so, so, how could something be so smooth? I just, I don't understand. It just, just the tap of a finger, it just, it just spins and just so freely. It's got a clicker. Right, got a pretty strong click to it. Release knob. This check lever, this knob is optional. You have to pay extra for it. The color that I chose to go with this reel today was the dark pewter, was also a custom color that you also have to pay extra for. This reel comes with A, B, E, C, seven bearings, or it has an optional of bushings, which are a little louder in other people's opinion, but you do get a pretty smooth drift out of the bushings as well, but I just chose to go bearings. I'm gonna do my absolute best to keep this reel out of the water as much as I can because I do not want it 
just squeaking up. I hate squeaking reels. Aside from that, first impressions of this reel when I first opened it up was just. I can't get enough of this reel. It's absolutely insane. Look at this thing. Come on. I just want to cuddle it to sleep. Are you kidding me? And this click is so addicting. This thing is just so smooth, beautifully weighted. I just can't wait to put line on this. I know that I want to go eight pound. I'm more of like the, the lighter, minimalist, low key, stealthy kind of guy. I like running light line. I just like running light tackle. It just, it feels right to me. Eight is like the perfect jump between steelhead and salmon. So in, in my preference, in my time of using different line weights from six pound to eight pound to 10 to 12, I found eight was the perfect sweet spot for me to mend my line and to make sure I could keep it off the water, get nice smooth casts. Braided backing line to go with the reel and I will probably go with like a, a stealthy green, moss green, eight pound mono line to suit this reel as well for my main line. And then from, from there, honestly, I'll just run, I usually run 3.3 fluorocarbon by Red Wing, 5.6 by Red Wing, 4.6 by Red Wing, four by Berkeley, and eight by Berkeley as well. So only for big rivers do I bring up the heavy, heavy, or dirty water, I bring up the heavy, heavy leader. But the majority of the times you'll always see me using 5.6, leading off to my bead and then trailer it off to that four or maybe sometimes just straight four and that's why I chose to go with the Berkeley four pound leader because it comes with an abundance of line about like maybe like a hundred yards or maybe 150 yards so it's a pretty big spool of line to have that constantly all the time because I like running super long leader just wanted to showcase this reel for you guys today. And when you guys do get really good at the center pin, I would highly recommend you guys upgrading to a lifetime investment and something that's gonna carry you to the very end of your fishing career. And that's why I chose to go with the Milner. I couldn't have been more proud. So glad I went with this choice. I'm, I don't know, it's just, it's just perfect. Thanks. Thanks for watching. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little reel showcase. More fishing videos are soon to come and I can't wait to showcase this reel in probably the next episode or so. So I encourage you guys to stay tuned. Look out because this bad girl is going to hook up and we're going to bless this reel with a bunch of steelhead and connect up and give you guys my honest opinion when I connect up to a fish with this awesome beautiful reel so I can't wait to feel the confidence in it and I can't wait to see you guys on the river. See ya!